Let's talk about saving files into Microsoft Teams. So you have a file that you created. Maybe that file you're creating is in Microsoft Word. Maybe it's in Excel or PowerPoint. And the biggest thing here is I want you to remember something special about files and Teams. Can you remember what's special about files and Teams? Well, when you're saving files into Teams, when it's part of a team, as in a channel within a team that you already have created, you really are saving into SharePoint. And so by that, if you look at the example I have here, you see that in the Teams example on the left, uh, you have the mission team with the general channel, the budget channel, the resources channel, and the training channel. channel. And then on the right, you see that you have the SharePoint site and the SharePoint site is called mission. So the team name is the same as a SharePoint site name in this case. Uh, doesn't always have to be that way, but that's if you set it up in Teams, that's the way it, it, it happens. And so um, within the mission SharePoint site, if you look at the documents there on the screen, that's that's uh, that I have shown with that little square box around it, you see general resources and training. We're not seeing um, the budget channel because it's hidden, but uh, there are other ways of showing that. So that's the same thing. So when I save something into Teams, I'm really saving into SharePoint. So I needed to show you this first because now I'm gonna go and demo this right in Word and in Excel so you can see it live for yourself. Okay, I'm in a Word file here and you can see that's a brand new file that I wanna save and I wanna save it to my Teams folder. And I'll save it into training. So that, that screen you just saw earlier, that's where I'm gonna save it to. And so just to confirm, this isn't saved before and how you would know that is it says document two at the top that usually is an indication that you haven't saved your file yet. So I'm going to go into um, the place where I can save it. So I can, and it's more than one way of doing this, but let's go file. And then from file here, we'll go save. Because I haven't saved it before, I can use save. If you have saved it already, then you do have the option of going save as so that you can put it into a secondary location and that being um, your team's area. Okay, so I'm gonna go save though. And when I go into save, what I need you to notice is on the left-hand side of your screen, of my screen here, I could save it into OneDrive, which would mean it's only share, it's only for me, it's not sharing with the team. But as I said, this example is for sharing into Teams. So how do I share it into the Teams area? I have to go to the sites. So there, you have to look for that SharePoint icon. It's not gonna say Teams here. So when you're saving into Teams and you're in Word, if you started in Word and you didn't start in Teams, then when you're in Word, it doesn't say save to Teams. It just says save to a site. So I'm gonna click on sites. And then I have a number of sites showing here that I belong to. And so that's what it's showing, the ones that I use most often, the ones that I follow. And so the one that I want is uh, the mission team, the one with the mission icon. So I know there's a few called mission, but let's click on that one. And then if I go to documents, then that's where I see general resources and training. So those those three uh, channels that I had in my teams and uh, I'll just leave it. I mean, I could put it into a one, Let's put it into training. So that goes into that channel. And now I can put it into a folder within that channel if I want to. Let's just say, I just want you to see it more visually. So I'm just going to leave it not in a folder, but it's within the training channel. So let's just type in test save from Word. Okay, so test save from Word is going to be my document. And then I'm going to show you how this looks in Teams as soon as I've finished saving it. So let me hit save. All right, and by the way, when I have saved it uh, in Word, it notice the auto save is now on uh, because now that I'm saving onto my SharePoint site or if I was saving onto my OneDrive, by the way, um, auto save would automatically be put on because it's, it's saving constantly as you make changes. Okay, so let's go check this out in Teams and see what it looks like there. So I'm in the training channel of the mission team here. If you don't see your new file right away, it might mean that you just have to refresh it. And so there is a refresh button or reload button at the top right here. Um, I could click outside of it into a different channel, come back to it, and it most likely will be refreshed by the time I click on files. So if you click around, it might show it up there for you. 
Okay, but there's that document that I had in Word. So if you see, that's the file that I saved, right? So let me just close just so you can see this happening. Let's close it out of Word. Okay. And now let's open it from here. And if I'm in Teams when I open it, I can certainly keep working with it in Teams. And then I can just go File, Save as I make changes. Actually, I don't even need to do that because it's automatically saving all my changes. So forget that File, Save thing. I can do File, Save Ads, but that would be making a second copy of it. So if I open it in Teams, then I'm saving it in Teams all the time, which by the way, remember, is saving it in SharePoint. Okay, so that's doing a brand new document. I'm gonna close this file here. And I'm going to show you another example. So let's say you have a file that you have, uh, maybe you stored it on your desktop computer or somewhere, or you on a server, you stored it somewhere else, and now you want it part of Teams. So let's just do that quick demo for you as well. So I'm going to minimize this. All right, so this example here I have in front of us, is, it's already been saved, saved to some spot on my computer. And so I want to save this into the same um, Teams channel, in the training channel, actually. So I'm going to go into File and go Save a Copy, because I would be making a copy in this case. Save As might be your option if you're saving it from maybe your desktop computer. This one happens to be already on in my OneDrive. Okay, and so now I want to go to my sites on the left hand side here. Go to mission, documents, and training. So the channel looks like a folder. And I'll just keep it again here so we can see it quickly. So file management checklist, I'll save that. So now it's saved to my SharePoint site. So let's go see if, how we find that there. Okay, so it's not showing Im immediately. So what, let's try this with the reload. And it's taking a minute, and there it is. File Management Checklist. If I click on it, and there it is. Okay. So starting a, uh, a document from scratch, I can save uh, with Into My Teams. Starting a doc or opening a document that I already have saved somewhere else, I can save a copy of it into Teams. So if you are making a copy of something and putting it into Teams, then keep aware or be aware of the fact that um, there's a second copy somewhere. So that second copy you either want to keep as your backup and never touch it again, or maybe you just delete that second copy so you don't accidentally change it and then you're changing the wrong version of a file. Um, but I'll leave that up for you to decide. So the same exact process would work in Excel. So I'm in Excel here and if I type in the word test and then I go file save as I would go to sites again so that again is putting in teams I go to mission so I have to know what team it is what channel is it the channel is going to be under my documents the channel shows as a folder so which it's a training channel. And then I could put it into a subfolder within that channel. It's a good idea to you know, eventually get into subfolders within your channel just so you have better organization for yourself. But there you see it. You see how to do it now within Excel, within Word. Same thing goes for PowerPoint. What you're doing is you're saving rather than to your computer or to your desktop, you're saving now to a site, but that site really is your team. So don't worry about if you've never used a SharePoint site before, you really still don't have to be using a SharePoint site in terms of having to go to it directly because that site's available to you through your Teams application. All right, so try that out. Have fun with it. Bye-bye.